guys, welcome back to my channel, Stella Yati. It's a girl again, Nancy. Yeah, I've been looking at it. <laughs> and today's tutorial, I'll be talking on how to make this beautiful boss that shaking crown. You can also style it as a top. So let's say boss that shaking top or gown. Alright, so that's what this is to you know, that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's tutorial, how to make it. It's very simple, it's very easy, it's stress free, I promise. Alright, so that's what I'll be talking about today. So please kindly subscribe, share to friends, don't forget to turn on your notification bell. It's very really important to me. Alright, and so I turn subscribers a very big thank you to you all. I really, really, really appreciate it. Alright, so so My fabric is on a fold of four. This is what I have. Let me adjust the color so it's a bit clear. So this is what I have on a fold of four. Alright. So now I'll go ahead and mark the full length of my top. So basically I'm using like two and a half, it's not up to two and a half inch of fabrics. Okay. So you can still work with two and a half. If it's a top you're making, you can work with two yards of fabric so now i'm working with 40 and a half inches that will be the length of my gown or top you can decide to call it a top some people can use it as a top some people can decide to use it as a gown anyone if you want to work with it so now the next thing you're going to be marking is this is our shoulder so you see how the food is this end now. So this is going to be start to serve as our starting point and also going to be serving as our shoulder. So I'll go ahead and insert my shoulder measurement. So my shoulder measurement is 15 inches. When I divide it, I have seven and a half. I will mark it here. I don't know if the chalk is clear. So I've marked my seven and a half here. All right. Now, the next thing I'll go ahead and insert is the length of my sleeve. My sleeve will be also inserted on this shoulder line, on this start point line. So the sleeve I'm working with is 13 inches. I'm going to insert my 13 inches here. This is what I have. Alright. So I'll go ahead and place my tape back this way. This is my tape. Okay. I'll place it where my 13 inches stops. I'm going to take it to towards the end of the center point of my of my material what I'm working on so I have 20.75 inches I'll go ahead and mark it until I get to the bottom of my gown After which I'll connect it to the rule. I'm going to mark it till I get to the bottom of this. So if it's a top you're making, you can decide to stop maybe at 27 or 28 inches, depending on how lengthy you want it to be. Alright? Though this can also serve as a top depending on how tall the person is, all right? All right, so this is what I have, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to place my tape back at my start point here, at this point. And I'm going to be marking 11 inches down. So now, what we are going to do is from this top part, you're going to be marking 11 inches down. All right, so please disregard this. This is my 11 inches. This is for my arm opening, where my arm or hand is going to be passing through. All right, so now, from this 13 inches, we stopped here. Remember, our sleeve length was 13 inches, so we stopped at 13 inches. I'll be adding extra one to one and a half inches for my sleeve folding. 
for the folding allowance all right so this is to enable me to fold it in properly so what i'll go ahead and do now is i'll go ahead and cut from here so here now this point i'm going to be making a small curve a small c curve all right so it's not be on a block form so i'll go ahead and cut this out I'll go ahead and cut it so I get to the bottom part. Then we will now come over to the neck area okay so the first thing i'm going to be marking is my this is three inches the three inches first is for the neck width then i'll be marking one and a half inches for the deck neck depth all right so the one and a half inches is for the back neck you can decide to also work with two inches but marking and working with one and a half inches for mine so i'll connect it and cut it out so the one and a half is for my back piece first. So I'm done cutting it then. I'll go ahead and open up this my fabric. So for opening it up, this is what I have. So I'll still have to trim the front neck, or else your neck will not be able to pass through. So I went ahead and opened it up this way. So now, this is what I have for my neck area. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now, since I've marked one and a half already, this is one side. This is, let's assume this is going to be our back and this is going to be our front, all right? So I'll place my tape back at one and a half inches. Then I'll be marking, I'll be marking four inches for my depth. I'll be marking it as four inches. That is where I want my neck depth to be. All right this is where my neck depth is going to be so here and i'm going to connect it to that four inches so i'm starting from here connecting that to my four inches so i'll go ahead and trim this out so this is what i now have then another thing i'm going to do now is for my front piece there is going to be a slit on it it has an, an, an opening okay so from this point i'm going to mark in three and a half inches so you can decide to work with four three to three and a half inches is okay so i'm marking three and a half inches so you can decide to mark four now here now there's two stuff to this you can decide to open it up and reach to this extent then cut out your facing and align it with it or you can decide to leave it this way why sewing it on your sewing machine you make the opening for me i think working on why sewing on my sewing machine and making the opening is more easier for me than making a slit coming to adjust it is a little is a little bit difficult all right so i prefer cutting out the facing then when sewing on the machine i'll make the slit on it okay so that's what i'll do so the next thing we are going to go ahead and do now is to cut out the facing for this the next thing we're going to be working on is the facing, alright? So, this is my fabric folded into two. And I'm going to pick up my gown on my top. And I'm going to be placing it on top. Now, remember, the folded edge should align. This is the folded edge of my facing. And this is also the folded edge of my folded part of my gown on the top. So, now I'll go ahead. I'm adjusting this. Try to allow the neck. That's what I'm doing so. Now, note one thing. We're going to be having a slit, right? 
to our facing is not going to be stopping here or here they're going to give allowance for our slit opening they're also going to give maybe from that slit opening you can leave up to two to three inches spacing all right so this is where it's going to stop start stop sorry so i'll go ahead and cut this off Put it off then from this point in I'll go ahead and cut this I'm going to cut it in a block from both so this is what I have for my facing then I went ahead to trim it and to give it a curved shape all right So this is what I have. Okay. So this is what my face looks like. Now I'm going to get my top, my gown, my top of it. So I'm going to be placing it this way now. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead to my machine and stitch on this. Right, so I'll go ahead and make a round stitch on this. When I'm done making the round stitch, I'll pick my chalk. So I don't need the chalk first. So after making the round stitch. After stitching it properly. I'll pick my chalk and my tape. Then this is my the center point of my phone. So I'm going to put it on here. Then I'll go ahead and mark where my three and a half is going to stop. This is where my slit is going to be. Alright. By then I'm done making a stitch round. Then I'll go ahead. I don't know if you can see it clearly. I'll go ahead and make a stitch close to this line I've marked, close to this center line that is here. I'll make a stitch from here to this point. Tight it then. Towards this area then then i will now put a scissors or a slit in between then much both ends then my slit is open it gives me a perfect slit All right so that's what i'm going to do here then for this part this is my sleeve area what i'm going to go ahead and do is to fold it in remember we left one and a half inch one to one and a half inches you can decide to work with two inches fine so i'll go ahead and hem it or fold it so that's what we're going to do this is what i have all right this is the open this um slit we made the next thing i'll go ahead to do now is to slit it open so i'll put the scissors in here this is the slit after stitching on it i slit it open then notch the two ends here and here all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to turn it out okay now i'm done folding my sleeve area i'm done folding it and i also joined my this thing my facing to the neck area what i'm going to do i'm going to be using a hemming gum to stick the two of them together all right then i went ahead and folded the bottom part of my gown all right so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be shaping it okay so the shaping now that's what i'm going to be working on so now from this point now i'm going to run a stitch it's going to be very close because it's a boss down or boss top so from here i will stitch on it to the end the same thing applicable to the other side of my gown so this is the outcome of the dress this is the outcome of the boss than shaky top or crown so you can use it as a top you can also style it as a gown thank you for watching